Hi, I'm Jackie, and welcome to my channel. Um, I am joined with Sabrina again, and today we're going to do the things that boys do that girls don't like. So, since you're the guest, <laughs> you can say something first. One thing I really don't like that guys do is act all sassy and everything one moment <laughs> and then they want to be dead serious about everything a minute after and bugs the crap out of me <laughs> so basically don't be too serious be able to joke around with your girl everything's not so serious like if obviously if it's a serious situation or subject you should be serious you shouldn't make jokes because that's another thing that makes girls mad not knowing when to be serious learn how when where and why it's not that serious dude one thing that girls don't like is uh when guys give girls mixed signals and you i mean girls do it too but i mean we're more like obvious about it if we like you like don't drop mixed signals don't be like one day ooh, i like you a lot and then the next day you're like I'm not that into you because if you're not into a girl don't talk to the girl it's that easy another thing is when yes we go a whole day without talking to you and then we call you or you call us yeah it's cute to talk for a few hours or so but not every girl likes to sit on the phone for four hours straight no kind of gets boring and annoying and you run out of things to talk about like the next day because you talk about everything in one day talk for a couple of hours on the phone that's fine two hours tops that's all you need Don't go five hours straight no because it's not just annoying for the girl it's annoying for everyone around you when you're on the phone 24 7 with your freaking girlfriend or boyfriend so don't do it don't just don't Number two. Ooh, ooh. what i really hate is when guys act different around their friends and then when they're with you they want to be all sweet and innocent and cute and cuddly like mm, baby let me just hold you a little bit i love you and then when they're around the friends, they're like, yeah, yeah, she cool. She can just sit there. It don't matter. She No, she fine. Don't worry about her. She cool. No, don't worry about her. You can throw the basketball at her, but she ain't gonna do nothing. Just don't pass it at her. Just don't, just don't pass it to her. It's fine. It's fine. She's cool. Babe, you all right? You're on Instagram, ain't you? You good? Okay. You're gonna play ball. Let's go, boys. Huddle. You know what I mean? Stop it. Include her in things when you're hanging out with your friends. I hate when your boyfriend is trying to be all lovey-dovey, kissy, make-out moment in front of their parents and stuff. Like, it's all cool and everything. Yeah, don't like, do that. No, girls feel really awkward and don't want your parents to think that, oh, she's just another whore or something. So yeah. they're making out with my son on their on our couch yeah. right in front of me. Like, no, girls yeah. want to have more respect to your parents than you might. We don't want to show them that side of the relationship. Is he calling you? <laughs> Too bad! We're making video talking crap about you. You're still in the shower. Shh, it's okay. We're still, she's still, we're still, we're still in the <laughs> shower, baby. So, yeah, but just don't because that's not a side that parents need to see of their relationship. Not even after you're married, you nasty. Stop it. When guys, like, you're the gentleman. Well, you're supposed to be, but y'all ain't. Open the door for your girlfriend. In se ladies first, seriously. Ladies first, be a gentleman. Because it's not cool to treat your girl like she's one of the guys. Unless she's one of the guys and, like, makes it makes it known that she wants to be treated like one of the guys, except for when you're alone and Netflix and chill. Chill? Chill. <laughs> one thing that has recently happened that kind of annoys me is your boyfriend or somebody will sit there and talk about all the horrible crap his ex-girlfriend done to him. <gasps> yeah. And then I would sit there and say, oh yeah, she's a stupid dog. You, like he'll sit there and stand up for her or something 
try to protect her or something like that. Right after he sat there and like cussed her out. And don't compare your girlfriend to your exes. Oh my god, no. Oh, it's a good way to get your butt Boy. done. No, be specific. Oh my god, yeah. About what you mean. Y'all are the most. You think we're confusing? <laughs> you guys are the most confusing thing in the freaking world. What? <laughs> we are not confusing compared to you. Oh my god. What other thing? Make sure you tell your girl you're kidding. <gasps> yes. Like, sit there and joke around with her and stuff. But make sure you sound like you're kidding. Don't sound so serious. Back to the whole being serious all the time thing. Put the sarcasm in your voice. Put the playfulness in your voice. A girl's gonna and a girl will play along. I play along. You tell me, oh well, I'm just gonna go to bed. Like, okay, then go to bed. Like that's playing around. Don't lie to your girlfriend. Say, me and you are together, right? I'm the boy, cause why not? Okay, so say I'm your boyfriend. My ex messages me and says, I think we need to talk so that I can get some closure from what happened in our past relationship. And if you don't know what closure is, it's just like basically having an understanding and like, it's to help you feel better about what happened in the relationship and like how it ended and whatever, you know. Like, cause one of my exes done this, he, he goes, I wanna tell you something and I don't want you to be mad because I'm being honest with you and I'm not lying and I'm not hiding it. And I was like, okay, I'm probably gonna get mad, but go ahead. <laughs> He said my ex texted me and I texted her back and I, I really want to go and talk to her so I can get some closure about what happened because I'm not completely over it. That bothered me in itself, him saying I'm not completely over it. I'm not completely over it. That's like saying, hey, break up, let's break up because I'm not over this girl. Ooh. Ooh. But anyway, I was like, okay, I trust you. We're together now. Go ahead. And he didn't text me for a couple of hours, and that really, like, made me not feel okay. I was like, oh, no. he He's not over her completely. And they're, they're gonna make out. They're gonna do things. And I'm gonna lose him. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm not okay right now. And then he finally texted me, and he was like, can I call you? And I was like... We're, we're done we're breaking up oh god crying and so he calls me and he's like i feel better now like i'm over it hallelujah thank god because like you freaked me out saying you were gonna go talk to her because he went to her house but i i'm gonna trust you that was really hard because i'm not a trusting person i got a big wall up thick wall up it's yeah, just make sure you don't lie to your girlfriend if something like that happens. Because if it's serious or it can put a strain on the relationship, tell your girlfriend before it happens so that she knows what's going on, she knows, you know, what to expect. Don't keep your girlfriend out of the loop. You need to have conversations with your girlfriend. Because if you don't, then you're going to lose her before you know it. And that's always worse than actually breaking up. I've had that happen to me. Only I wasn't the real problem. <laughs> Never am. Am I right? Thanks. And girls, always tell your man how you feel. Oh, always. Don't hide it. No. It's what I did. Screwed everything up. But tell it's better. But it's better to tell them what's messing you up than keep it in and let it mess you up boys that's another thing don't let your boys your boys don't let your girls go to sleep mad or sad or anything make sure they go to sleep with a smile on their face and wake up with a smile on their face that's all like the advice we have like this got really serious like i was just gonna be like we're gonna bash on boys we're gonna tell them what we don't like then now it's like an advice video so thank you for watching uh like and uh subscribe because that would mean a lot to me and um leave some comments down below about some things that boys do that girls don't like so yeah i will see you guys next week on wednesday bye